eighth grade math. It's time for day 12. Woo, day 12 of the AMI. Um, on your packet, you have something about subtracting linear expressions. Yesterday we were adding them and today we're subtracting them. We're gonna follow some of the same steps, um, but there is one thing that we have to be leery of where we're subtracting. Okay, so in this expression, I'm subtracting them. Um, I know that there's a one there. It's not explicit, but we know that whenever there's not a number, like say here on this X, we know that is a one X. Okay, same thing with subtracting these. Um, whenever you're subtracting them, we have to be sure that we're distributing that negative through that second set of parentheses. Okay, um, so I'm gonna rewrite this with that distribution. So I'm gonna leave the first one the same. I'm gonna distribute that negative one. Negative one times three X is a minus three X. Negative one times a negative three. Now be careful when you're multiplying, pay attention to your signs. This is a negative one times a negative three. So my answer to that is a positive three. Okay, then once we get this expression here, I'm gonna look for like terms. This is just like yesterday, whenever we combined like terms. I can combine this 5x and that minus 3x to give me 2x, and this 2 plus 3 to give me plus 5, okay? And that is subtracting these two, or these ex in this expression. Okay, so let's look at what happens whenever we have um, constants outside of our parentheses. Um, we are going to have to distribute twice to solve this. This negative 2 has to be distributed to this first set of parentheses, and this negative 4 has to be distributed to the second set of parentheses. So we're going to start off doing that. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. A negative 2 times a positive 7 gives me minus 14. Now I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep writing in the same line. Um, negative 4 times 2x is a minus 8x. And negative 4 times 1 is minus 4. So all I've done is distributed that negative 2 to the first set of parentheses, that negative 4 to the second set of parentheses. And then I'm going to combine like terms. Negative 2x and a minus 8x, so negative 2x minus 8x gives me a negative 10x. Negative 14 minus 4 is minus 18. Okay, and lastly, I put one in here, um, an example with fractions. I realized I didn't do one with fractions yesterday, so if you didn't do the fractional one from yesterday, this may help you today. Um, we're still distributing. We're still taking that one third and multiplying it through the first set of parentheses, and this negative one half we are distributing through the second set of parentheses. Okay, so we're multiplying one third times 12x. Whenever we multiply that out, what we're really doing is taking that one, multiplying it times the 12, and then dividing by 3. So 1 times 12 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, so there's 4x. 1 third times a negative 3. I know this is going to be a negative answer because it's a positive number times a negative answer. I'm going to go ahead and put my minus down here just so I don't forget it. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay? Then I'm going to look at my second set of parentheses. This is a negative times a positive. So I know it's going to be a negative answer. I'm going to go ahead and put my minus down there. I'm going to do the same thing. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So minus 2x. And then I'm going to look at negative 1 half times a positive 8. It's going to be a negative answer. 
1 times 8 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, and then I'm going to combine like terms. 4x minus 2x is just a 2x. Negative 1 minus 4 is minus 5. All right, I think that covers day 12. You guys!